Hi everyone, it's Shireen. Welcome back to Beauty Editing 101. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use keyframes to animate images, text, and videos in Final Cut Pro. Before we start, you might be wondering what is a keyframe? A keyframe is a location on a timeline that marks the beginning or end of a transition. A strip of film is measured in frames, so that's why they're called keyframes. Essentially, a keyframe allows you to animate frame by frame. I'll show you what I mean. I already have some clips preloaded into my timeline. As you can tell, I'm making these movements with my fingers because I want to go ahead and edit in animations. The first animation we're going to start off with is an image. So I'm just going to use this clip right here, and I already have an image downloaded from DeviantArt, so I'm just going to import this into my timeline. I have this cute koi lipstick that I found, and I'll have it linked down below, so if you want to go and check it out, you can check it out on DeviantArt. Now what I'm going to do is scale this down a little bit, and then I'm just going to click on here to make sure that this lipstick is selected, and then I'm going to press the transform button right here. This is going to allow me to move the image. So I want it to go about here, and I'm actually going to scale it and make it a little bit larger, like that. So now, how do we animate this? If you notice on the sides right here, there's these little plus signs, and so basically these allow you to add a keyframe. So I'm going to start off by adding a keyframe right here. What that means is that at this point right here, we have this keyframe to be at this position. And if we want to move it, so if you see as I'm scrolling, I kind of want to push this image off to the side. So around right here, I'm going to drag this to the right. And as you can see, this arrow creates a red line, and that red line indicates the movement for the animation. So now if we play it back, it looks something like this. As you can see, it's not lined up properly, and I actually want it to come down from the top and then go out to the right. Another way to add keyframes and to actually modify them more and just have more of a visual reference of where you're keyframing is to go into Clip and then press Show Video Animation. And as you can see, these two points right here are where we have our keyframes. So I'm going to go around right here and we're going to click on this transform to select this area. And then we're going to drag this up. So now when we play it, it looks something like this. I want it to kind of like stop for a beat and then get pushed out. So I'm actually going to delete all these keyframes except for the middle one, because this is where I want it. So, I want it to stop around right here, so I'm going to drag it over here. And then in order to make it just sit for a beat, I'm going to make another keyframe with the same exact properties. I'm not changing anything. And so in order to do this, I'm going to press Option K, and that's going to make another keyframe for me. So now we're going to go back in and add in those beginning and end keyframes to make that smooth transition. So I'm going to go back to around here. I'm going to lift this up. And then I'm going to go towards the end. And I'm just going to drag this to the right. So now when you play it back, it'll look like this. I actually really like the way that looks. I'm not even going to go ahead and change it because that timing is just perfect for me. I'm going to clip this and align it with this previous clip. Now let's move on to animating text. We're going to go into this text area. So you want to select titles and then I'm going to drag in a basic title. So for this one, let's just say that I want to put in the name of the lipstick that I'm wearing. So I'm just going to go in and type that in real quick. Alright, I don't like this font, so I'm just going to go in and pick another one that's a little bit prettier. Let's see. 
I'm gonna go in with this one. I've never even used this font, but it looks pretty enough for me. So now I just want to change it up a little bit more. I want to make the font size bigger for the name of the shade. And then I'm gonna bring this up. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, it's just my personal preference. So that looks good enough for me. So now what we're gonna do is position it and then animate it. So as you can see, the transition icon is selected, so you can go ahead and move this wherever you want it. I want mine to be around here. I'm just gonna shorten this to around here and then clip it so that it aligns with the end of this clip. Now what you're gonna do I'm just going to open up the video animation. It just makes it easier for me. I like working with keyframes better this way because I just feel like I have more control. So I'm just going to select transform again. And then what I'm going to do is right here, right here. This is the point where I want the text to just stay right there for a sec. So I'm going to start off by animating that area first. We're going to do option K. I'm gonna move it to around let's see oh I just leave it I thought I moved it okay never mind <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it right there so then we're gonna go back here and then I'm gonna just drag it up and it'll create that downward movement so now when we play it it'll look like this just like that and as you can see there's all these other properties that you can mess around with. Trim basically just refers to trimming the text. So you can trim from the left, right, top, and bottom. So as you can see, if I go from the left, it'll just cut it from the left. Or if I do it from the right, same thing. Top, bottom, it'll do the same thing. So if you want, you can go ahead and animate those properties as well. And same thing for distort and opacity. And I really like messing with opacity because it's a nice way to fade in or fade out any sort of element that you're trying to animate. So for instance, for this one, let's just go ahead and add a fade out. So around here, I'm just gonna do option K. This is gonna leave the properties just as they are right now. As you can see, the opacity is set to 100. So now I'm just gonna go over here a little bit and I'm just gonna bring down the opacity. And as you can see, it made a keyframe for us right here. So now it'll look like this and just fades out. Personally, for this one, I don't want to fade out, so I'm just going to take those out, but I hope that you found that helpful. Next, we're going to move on to animating a video. For this one, I have this video right here, and I want to combine it with this one right here. So what I'm going to do is take this video and just drag it on top of that first one. So what I want to do is kind of have this one be off to the side, so I'm just going to drag this right here and then I'm going to trim it from the left and then I'm going to take it over here just so it's centered a little bit more. And then now I'm going to take this one and then I'm going to move this position to the left because I just want it to be kind of centered within its own little box if that makes sense. So now what I want to do is actually take this a little bit further out and I'm going to go ahead and make this area larger. I just feel like it's a little bit too small right now. So I'm going to take it out like this and I'm going to drag it back to the left. And then I'm just going to center this a little bit more. Kind of a perfectionist, you guys. Just work with me. Okay, that looks good enough to me. So now what we want to do is, ooh, actually, let's make this a little smaller. Okay, cool. So what we want to do is you'll notice that I'm pointing at it and then I want to push it out. And then I want this to move to the right, and I want this to move to the right and fill the screen. So, in order to do that, I'm going to open up the video animation for both of these, just so that we can just animate them at the same time. I find that it makes it a lot easier for me. 
I'm going to go ahead and zoom in the timeline a little bit more just so I have more control over what I'm doing. I just can see it better. So I'm going to start off by animating this one. We're going to go back into transform and then around right here. I'm going to do option K. This is just going to leave the video as is. We're not moving it yet. Now I'm going to go around here and we're going to just drag this to the right. So now when we play it back, you'll see that the clip is pushed out. But this video right here is stagnant. We also want this to move. So what we're going to do is go back in and we're going to go into this one and select transform. And I'm going to align this red line right with that first keyframe right there. And I'm going to press option K just to have this image establish that this is the starting point. And then we're going to go over to about here and then we're going to bring this to zero. This is going to bring it back to the center and make it fill the screen. Now when we play it back, it'll look like this. And if you want to go back and see if there's any parts where it's not aligned properly, you can just press the left arrow icon on your keyboard and go back frame by frame. So if you can see right here, there's a split second where it's not going fluidly and you can still see that black part. What we're going to do is go into this keyframe right here, the second one, and just pull it back to right there. And now let's play it. Now as you can see it's a lot more fluid but I feel like that transition out is a little too fast for me. So what I want to do is make this transition a little bit slower. In order to slow it down, all you have to do is drag out the keyframe. So now this transition right here is going to be slower. It'll look like this. Now it's a little bit too slow for me, so we're just going to keep messing with it until I'm happy with it. Okay, also notice the lipstick on my teeth. Yeah, we're just going to ignore that. Moving on. Now what you want to do is make this transition a little bit slower as well. I'm going to select the second keyframe or not. Okay, it doesn't want to work with me. Okay, didn't want to work with me, so I'm just going to drag this out. And then just kind of bring this back to where it was at. I'm going to bring this in a little more. Okay, let's play this and see how that works. Okay. Now you can see it's aligned better. There is no black gaps anywhere. And I think that it looks nice. So let's just play this back one more time. Perfect. And you can go ahead and just trim this down to your clip. And there you have it. This is how to animate images, text, and videos in Final Cut Pro using keyframes. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, be sure to like this video if you liked it and leave a comment down below letting me know which beauty editing video you would like to see next. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!